listen, December of 2020 was a year for me. It was time that I found out that my mother was sick and needed to be taken care of. So me and my siblings, we decided that we would take on a task. I took on the task of the medical part because I had worked in the hospital. Now, I did not know that this was the hardest task of all because my mother, she can be a piece of work and she will show out, cut up anywhere with anyone. It started when she had to come downstairs every day to have breakfast and to take her medication. Well, she didn't like that. So she came up with this elaborate story that the doctor had called her and told her that she was on bed rest. Now, I knew that was a lie because the only phone number they had was my phone number. But I went along with the lie. I made her a telehealth phone call appointment with the doctor. On the day of the appointment, we got my mom on the phone, the doctor on the phone, and they were talking. And then my mother proceeded to tell the doctor that he called her and put her on bed rest. Well, the doctor was kind of taken back and he said, ma'am, I never put you on bed rest. As a matter of fact, you need to be doing some form of exercise every day. My mother got so mad. She told him he didn't know what the hell he was talking about and that he was, she was going to find herself another doctor. Then she proceeded to try to hang up on him, but she couldn't because she had never FaceTime a doctor before. Now, when that didn't work, she started complaining about her knee. Her left knee was hurting. I made an appointment to go to the doctor. We went to the doctor. The doctor came in to examine her. And then she tells him that it was the other knee that was bothering her. Well, the doctor was surprised because he said, ma'am, the x-ray show that there is really something wrong with your left knee. So I'm going to need to give you an, an injection. And then you need to go back to x-ray and get some more, some more x-rays done. And after that, you need to start doing some form of exercise every day. <laughs> My mother was as hot as fish grease. She did not like what he had to say. She rolled her eyes at him. She rolled her eyes at me. And when the x-ray tech came in to take more pictures, she didn't even like her. And she gave her a real hard eye roll. But my favorite, my mom was in the hospital for the first time. They ordered her to have physical therapy. Mm -hmm. The therapist was walking with her and said to my mom, have you ever thought about using a walker? What the therapist did not know is saying the word walker to my mom was just like dropping the F-bomb. My mother went crazy. She turned into Chucky. She said, no, I don't like walkers. I'm not going to use a walker and come on over here so we can get this therapy over with so you can shut the hell up. Wow. Now, these things are funny when they happen to other people, the doctors and other people. But when my mom turned on me, that's when she crossed the line. We were on our way back from her second visit in the hospital. I'm in the car. I'm sharing with her about all the changes that needed to take place. My mother looks at me and says, oh, so what you're trying to say is I need to start coming back down the stairs again. And y'all know my mother hates coming downstairs. So I said, yes. Well, that's when she got mad and went off talking about y'all don't understand how much pain I'm in. I hurt so goddamn bad and them effing doctors, they don't know what they talking about. They don't care about me and you don't care about me either. When my mom said that I didn't care about her, she ran over the line. I snapped like a rubber band. I told her, wait one minute. I don't care about you. Everything that I have been doing 
has been to take care of you and to make sure that you're okay. My whole life has turned into caring for and taking care of you. Are you kidding me? You're telling me that I don't care? Chick, you have lost it. And then I began to cry. I mean, I was sovereign. My hands were shaking. I was shaking. And my mother had never seen me cry like that before as an adult. When she saw the tears coming down my eyes, I believe at that moment, she realized that everything that I had been doing, my brothers and my sisters, all the things that we had been doing was to make her get better and to be healed and well. The good thing about this is after I told her off, my mother has been coming downstairs every day, eating her breakfast, taking her medication, and she hasn't complained yet. Sometimes people need to go over that line so you can help them get back in line, just like I did my mama. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>